for the most part, everything that I had to do, like interactions with Norwegians, they're are very positive. Um, they're very smart people. They're very um, just intellectual, um, critical thinkers, I'd say, is probably the best way to describe them. Some of the things in Norway here, I shot for Sicko and didn't put it in, it was 2007, and I didn't put it in there because I didn't think the American public would believe it, even though they're watching it. You know, I just thought there's no way they're going to believe that they run their prison system like this. I also interviewed a... Um, the, the government, you know, they own the oil. The, there's a government oil company, and then they lease the oil rights to Shell or Exxon or whatever, but they don't let Exxon or Shell own any of the natural resources that are theirs. So they have a state oil company, and one of the laws says that the state oil company must hire a philosopher. And the... the, the <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew nobody would believe it. And... But and the state, so the state oil company philosopher's job is to make sure that the state oil company does the right thing, does the right thing for the planet, for the people of Norway, for the, the for the and just the larger sort of you know global thing that a philosopher would be thinking about, and and he has a very important he was a he then it was a she later uh, has a very important say as to how. The oil is to be used and how the money from the oil is to be used and how the earth is to be treated. Wow. Norwegians value uh, honesty very highly and respect of one another, which I found very refreshing. We're brought up to believe that we're not supposed to be better than anyone. We're not supposed to think highly of ourselves. We're not supposed to think that we are good at anything. And we call this the law of Jante or Jante Loven. Norwegian people can't dance, and we only fist pump. <coughs> as far as work goes, um, they're morning people. I don't know how they do it, but compared to the U.S., where most jobs are 9 to 5, they go from 8 to, like, 3. And they usually only work 7-hour work days, too. Like I said, you know, they value more of their free time and, you know, spending time with their kids and with their families. So... Uh, they take they take less money for just you know more time off. Well, crime in Norway it's almost non-existent. It's ridiculous how safe you feel pretty much everywhere. And there's a possibility you could be my neighbor on my street. Therefore, I am highly incentivized for you to have a good life because I want you to be a good neighbor. If it turns out to be that way, and their whole philosophy is driven with how can we make them good neighbors. And I know it's just. It's insane. Uh. You, some of the poor people have it better than the people in the U.S., uh, like the middle class people in the U.S. But there's a, in Norway, there's a huge middle class of people, and there's very few rich or poor people. They just have an enormous middle class where everyone's about the same. Norwegian culture is very different from American culture. I remember first walking there and looking around and noticing that people weren't generally looking at me in the eyes like they normally did. And um, I've heard that about Scandinavians in general, they don't generally look at you in the eyes. And so I was taken aback by that at first. But I realized it's because they have a very high level of respect for themselves and for one another. And so to look at someone else in the eyes is kind of a way of uh, treading on their ground as to this is my place, this is your place, and we both have our places. And they see that as something that is for the greater good, and they operate with the sense of we, and 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 not me. And it's it's amazing to witness. And it's not that they're better than us. They 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 just they they just believe they're going to have a longer life, and they do. They have longer life expectancy than we do. They're, they're going to have less crime, less murder. You know, they're going to have a lot less of the social problems by constructing their society under the concept of we. And, and that you're not alone. There's something there for you. If the shit hits the fan in your life, you don't have to hit the fan. We're going to take the fan away. We're going to put a guard over the fan. Something's going to be there so that you have a chance. And they don't think that's a weak thing. They don't think that that's a, a you know, a, um, 
they don't have this attitude. They, they, they have the attitude that that's actually a strong thing. And it's um, but sometimes I felt like as opposed to an American, they weren't as open um, to new ideas, not as open to religion. They think very logically, which means a lot of them believe in um, logical explanations, scientific explanations of things. Um, most of them, if you ask them what they believe in, a lot of them will say they believe in themselves, which can be a really good thing because Norwegians do a lot of great things. If there's trash on the road, they pick it up. If somebody needs help, they'll, they'll do it. Um, they believe in themselves. <laughs> Klassetur og så sa læreren at jeg skulle møte henne her. Vet du at du har ingen telefonnummer til læreren da? Nei. Eller så kunne vi ha ringt. Ja. Hva er det? Nei, jeg er veldig kald. Det er kald? Er det sånn sterkelig til deg? Ja. Er det sånn? Ja. Ja. Du var helt godt, kom han. Du var helt godt, Bjørn. Ja. Tusen takk. Åh, tusen takk. Hvilken klasse var det du, hvilken skole er det du gikk på? Randberg. Randberg? Vi er fra Moss. Fra Moss? Ja, bare inn. Åh, tusen takk. Ja, 